Ever wondered how water moves in and out of cells? Today we're going to journey into the microscopic world and explore the fascinating process of osmosis. Imagine this, water molecules are like enthusiastic party-goers, always ready to move from a crowded room to a less crowded one. That's essentially how osmosis works. It's the movement of water from an area of high water potential, which is just a fancy way of saying lots of water molecules, to an area of low water potential, or fewer water molecules. But you might ask, why does water do this? Well, it's all about achieving balance. Nature loves equilibrium, and osmosis is one of the ways it achieves this. Now let's spice things up a bit. What if we introduce something called a semi-permeable membrane? This is like a bouncer at the door of our party. It only allows certain molecules to pass through. In the case of osmosis, it's water molecules that get the VIP pass. So picture this. On one side of the membrane, there's a high concentration of water, and on the other side, there's a lower concentration. What happens? You've guessed it. The water molecules start moving from the high concentration side to the low concentration side, trying to create an even distribution. This process plays a crucial role in life as we know it. It's how cells in our bodies maintain the right level of hydration. It's also how plants draw water from the soil. But here's where things get a bit more complex. The behavior of osmosis can differ between plant cells and animal cells when placed in various solutions. If we place an animal cell in a hypotonic solution, where the surrounding solution has a lower concentration of water than the cell, the cell will lose water and shrink. It's like a balloon losing air. But place a plant cell in the same solution, and it behaves differently. The cell wall of the plant cell prevents it from shrinking. Instead, it becomes plasmalized a fancy term meaning the cell membrane pulls away from the cell wall. On the other hand, if we put these cells in a hypotonic solution, where the surrounding solution has a higher concentration of water than the cell, the opposite happens. The animal cell will swell and might even burst like an overfilled water balloon. But the plant cell, it becomes turgid or stiff, which is actually good for the plant, giving it structure and support. So, to sum up, Osmosis is the movement of water molecules from an area of high water potential to an area of low water potential, all in the quest for balance. This process, governed by semi-permeable membranes, is essential for life, allowing cells to maintain hydration. But remember, the effects of osmosis can differ between plant and animal cells when exposed to different solutions, thanks to the unique properties of their cell structures. Now, you can impress your friends with your knowledge of osmosis. It's not just a scientific term, it's a dance of molecules, striving for equilibrium in the microscopic world.